All right, so I don't know you, but since update 30, 32 something, my Oculus Quest started to act a bit weird. Every time I was actually grabbing it, it was always out of battery. So I get the battery strap, and then I started to find also the battery strap completely depleted with my Quest 2 depleted. So every time I grab it and I want to make a video about it, I'm like, uh, okay, well, let's wait two hours, I guess. So long story short, I saw a video on Twitter from Linus Tech Tips uh, about the charger that I looked pretty nice indeed and they, they contact me and they said hey do you want to try and feature on the channel and was like uh, if that can solve my problem yes I do and so they sent this is it gonna be enough for it I'm asking to you let's get into it and here we have it so uh, I don't know why but they actually sent two so I figure because I have two I can just uh, give one away. Just leave a comment below and then I'm gonna go through them all. Try to, to contact you. If you respond, you got a new charger. I think they sent two for that reason. Is it okay, Mexico? All right, just to be crystal clear, they asked me to make this video and so it might consider a sponsor video. What I always do, by the way, is to ask for the product first and then I decide if uh, it's a good thing to feature or not, because of course I don't wanna push stuff that I will not use personally. So I guess you can already understand that it's gonna be quite positive. That's why we're talking about it. And with that clear, let's get into it. What's the particular thing about this charger stand thing? Well, first of all is that you can connect your Quest 2 in an easy, easy way with a magnetic thing. Uh, more about that uh, in a bit. And also you can charge the controllers as well at the same time. The LED on it is amazing for me. I really like the blue and you can tell from my setup, it actually has a function as well because when it's charging, it's gonna glow red. Instead, when everything is charged and ready to go, it's gonna glow blue. And it's nothing too bright or any. Of course, if you're using it as a nice stand, well, it might be too much. And on the matter, unfortunately, didn't find any way to turn it off. So uh, if you play in your bedroom, probably it will not be super recommended, I guess. I have to say though that it looks absolutely solid and it feels solid and heavy, so you're not gonna lose it. It's not gonna slide anywhere. Also because it has an anti-sliding pad under it. And I don't know how, but they managed to make it in the same exact white of the Atlas Quest 2. So if you want accessories that wants to feel official like I do, well, this feels like it. Now this thing is compatible with pretty much every strap. You can use it with the strap the Quest 2 comes with or uh, with elite strap or a generic elite strap with battery like I'm doing because this is not the original one, but it works just fine because it's just gonna slide on top of it and keep the Quest perfectly stable. And it has a little arm to keep the strap in the back. By the way, if you don't want the little arm on the back, you can use it even without, it's compatible. Kind of modular, I guess. But I think that the best thing about this is not actually the stem function, but is the recharging function. The thing why I was so interested in something like that. And that's because you have uh, two things that recharge at the same time, the controllers and the headset. For the headset, I love that it's not charging from a fixed pot. So uh, you can actually use it in different ways. For example, I rather charge the battery bank in the back and keep it attached uh, to the headset itself. So it's kind of a bridge of um, electricity, if you will. And we'll keep everything always ready to play with a maximum battery available. It doesn't interfere with the headphone jack and it doesn't interfere with the charging cable. And that's absolutely amazing. Also, it's a magnetic connector. So if you get close to it, it's gonna snap just in position and start to charge. Easy as that. And the different solution goes for the controller. They actually give you two battery covers for your controllers with a small connection in the base so they can be recharged all the time. And they also provide you with the batteries to put inside. So you're never gonna have to change the batteries anymore. But that's where things get a bit complicated because if you have any cover, every support for the controllers, well, they will fit as you see with my grips, but they're not gonna be able to charge them because the connector is right at the bottom. So this is perfect if you're using stock controllers. By the way, also there they managed to make the same 
white of the controller for the cover, so that's pretty nice indeed. But if you use accessories on it, instead of the convenience that you have with the cable for the headset, well, here you don't have the same convenience. So just be aware of this situation over there. By the way, I waited two weeks to make this review to see what actually solved the problem that I have, that every time that I grab it, it's always out of battery. And I have to say that I'm pleased that every time I drop it there, well, when I play, it just works. I just decided to keep the grips on the controllers though. Well, it fits, so they stay there nice and tidy. Uh, but yeah, they're not gonna charge in the same way. Unfortunately, I'm not using this thing like 200% of the possibility. So yeah, here you have it. If you feel like the Nexigo is something for you, you're gonna find it in the description below and uh, you're gonna be able to grab it and have your Quest 2 always charged as I do right now. And once again, it looks good, it does exactly what it has to do, and it has LED on it. That's a win. So I think we said it all. Thanks to Nexigo for sponsoring this video, of course, and made it possible. Thanks for sending it to me. Again, if you wanna win one, uh, I think that will be okay with that. Leave a comment in the description below. So in a week, I'm gonna go through all the different comments and decide one and I send it to you. So if you wanna say something funny, maybe it's gonna go up in the list and I'm gonna see you easier. I guess. Remember to like the video if you like the honesty and uh, dislike it if you, I don't know. And uh, to subscribe if you like more VR and AR related stuff. By the way, I'm gonna get married uh, at the end of this week. So probably next week I'm not gonna publish any video. Uh, it's been a very, very stressful period. I'm gonna keep you updated on the everything is happening. By the way, maybe I'm gonna post a picture with me like, uh, I wanna say I'll see you soon. I'm not gonna see you super soon, but uh, soon still. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I see you guys next video. Th that's for sure. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, thanks for watching. I see you guys next video. Th that's for sure. <laughs> Ciao.